Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Alicia from Alicia Be Creative and today's tutorial is this Tropical Vibes clipboard of course with glitter and vinyl perfect for a summer camp counselor gift or maybe just for yourself. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first things first, of course, I am grabbing this clear acrylic clipboard that I purchased off Amazon. I believe that these came in a pack of 12 originally, and I had a few left over from prior crafts that I had been working on for end of the year uh, school gifts. So these clipboards are a little bit different than the traditional ones. They have like the flat clip versus like that larger clip. I prefer these ones because they're a little bit easier to tape off, but should you get the other ones that have the much larger clip of, on the clipboard, you still can make it work. It's just a little bit extra work to tape off that section. So after I've gotten the plastic off, I'm going to go ahead and sand both sides of this clipboard. I will be glittering and epoxying both sides of this. So I want to make sure that I've scuffed up the surface to give my epoxy a surface to be able to adhere to. So I'm just using a 100 grit sanding block, just sanding pretty aggressively, making sure I get a really good scuffed up surface and then cleaning that off with some 91% alcohol and a paper towel. Once I've done that, I am ready because now I am prepped and we are just going to go right into glittering. All right, so before I can mix up my epoxy to do the one side of the clipboard, I am going to take a bit of my one inch painter's tape here and I am going to tape off the edge. I do prefer taping off the edge of the clipboards just because I don't want any of the epoxy to accidentally run to the other side, creating lots of like bubbles and kind of drips down the front side of the clipboard. I want to keep that as clean as possible. So I'm just going to take that painter's tape and just go all the way around the clipboard, making sure that I'm not getting it on the back side of the clipboard and only staying along that edge. So take your time with this. It can be a little bit tedious and cumbersome to kind of get around these edges, but when you're taping off, just kind of make sure that you're obviously taping the edge of the clipboard and not the actual flat part of the clipboard so you don't have any issues when it comes to removing the tape once the epoxy has start, started to harden. So I'm gonna finish up this portion and then I'm just going to set this up on a couple of spray paint cans to keep it elevated and then we can mix our epoxy to get our first coat of epoxy and glitter on the back side of this clipboard. All right, so now I have my clipboard on top of two paint cans. I just want to keep it elevated and level. And I've mixed up 30 mLs of epoxy as well as I have another pot of epoxy that has about 20 mLs in it because I figured I'd need a little bit more for the back side of this clipboard since I'm adding glitter. I've just gone in and added a little bit of glitter bestie over top of this epoxy that I've already mixed up. I'm going to mix that in really thoroughly and then of course I'm going to pour this directly on the back side of the clipboard. So we're doing kind of like this cheat glitter method on the back side. It is my preferred way to do these styles of clipboards. You could also base paint if you wanted to so that the color was a little bit more vibrant, but I really just loved like the peachy coralness of this glitter bestie glitter that I didn't really want to add any spray paint to, you know, kind of change what that would look like. So I am just going to use my gloved hand and just get this epoxy kind of evenly smoothed out throughout the bottom half of the clipboard here making sure I'm getting all the way to the edge you also can use your uh, mixing stick I like to use that too sometimes to make sure that I am getting all the way to the edge uh, sometimes um, if you don't really thoroughly pay attention to the edges of the clipboard it's very easy to like miss an edge because it's a clear clipboard so hard to kind of tell where the edges are sometimes so you do have to be pretty thorough with this to make sure that you get edge to edge coverage and a nice even coat with your epoxy. So I'm going to continue to just kind of smooth this out. I am then going to go in with another 20 mLs of epoxy to finish up the top half of this clipboard here to ensure that I have a really nice thin coat uh, on this back side. And typically for these clipboards, I usually am able to get away with just doing two coats of epoxy. So one coat on the back side, 
one coat on the front side after I do my decals and vinyl work. And that seems to be all I've needed to do. Now, obviously, if you were to choose to go in and do either like a base coat um, or to glitter it like you would with Mod Podge with a, uh, like you would with a tumbler, then you would probably have to go in with more coats of epoxy over top of that glittered base, if that makes sense. But whatever way you choose to try it, certainly feel free to do so. I've done these every which way you can think of for sure and I actually haven't done these in a long while so it was nice to be able to come back to this craft that I had started much earlier last year. So I'm just going to continue to use my gloved hand to get the rest of this epoxy evenly coated onto the back of this clipboard and then you're also going to see me kind of run a clean finger along the edge of the tape there to make sure that I don't have any drips running along the side. I will do a little bit of cleanup before I do anything to the front side of the clipboard, but I like to still run my finger along the edges of the tape to make sure that I don't have any drips. That could cause me a little bit more of a hassle once this is all cleaned up. So I am now going to take a little bit of 91% alcohol in a spray bottle and just give it one good spritz to get any of those bubbles to rise to the top. And then once that's evaporated, go in with my torch. After it's started to cure, I will wait about 30 minutes or so and then remove the tape. So the back side is cured and now it is time to work on the front side. I've already chosen this beautiful Monstera pineapple leaf vinyl that I got from a vinyl gallery. I'll put a link to that in the description box and I've actually gotten this Tropical Vibes decal from Creative Fabrica. So I have a link for Creative Fabrica to get you all access for a dollar. And that gets you SVGs, fonts, graphics, anything you can think of for just a dollar for your first month. And that renews at $19. So I have cut this Tropical Vibes decal twice at about four inches wide, maybe 4.5 inches wide. And it ended up being about five a little over five inches tall and I've cut it on both white and a tech wrap vinyl in this like green to blue shift. So I'm going to remove the palm trees off of the green and then I'm going to remove all the wording off of the white. I was a little bit in a rush and a pinch to try and finish this so normally I just would have gone in and played with Cricut and like erased things but I didn't really want to fight with it. I just kind of decided to cut it twice and then just remove anything I didn't want. So I'm just going to layer these to so that the tropical trees are behind those words and then of course we can go ahead and begin to get this applied to my clipboard. So before I do any vinyl work whatsoever I am just going to run my craft knife around the edges of the clipboard to get any epoxy that may have bubbles over the sides off of there and make sure I have a nice smooth surface along the edges. Although there won't be any epoxy like going over the edge, I obviously want to make sure I have a nice smooth surface and I don't have anything that's bumpy um, or uncomfortable along those edges. I want to keep those smooth. So I'm going to apply the decal first and this is going to help me obviously determine how much of the vinyl I'm going to need to use for the bottom half of the clipboard here. So and now with the decal applied, I'm now going to be using my vinyl to do the bottom half of this clipboard. So I've just cut a piece of vinyl to size and I'm going to apply this to the clipboard just like I would to a tumbler, except for this is much easier because it's a flat surface. So I'm just going to fold that backing back and then I'm going to apply that in a nice straight line under the Tropical Vibes decal and then I'll smooth that edge that is that has the backing removed and then just use my little squeegee here to be able to get this vinyl applied to the bottom half of this clipboard. So really easy, really quick, simple, very easy to do. You certainly could do the full clipboard if you wanted. Um, what I found though is that these clipboards don't fit a full 12 by 12. There's a little bit of a ledge on the top half and the bottom half, but you still could do a pretty beautiful full wrap of a clipboard if you wanted and then just put a layer of epoxy over top maybe with a little bit of glitter. So once I've gotten this vinyl though applied to the bottom half because that was the style and design I chose to go with, I'm going to lift this off of my table here and just pull the vinyl taut around the edges just like I would the top of a tumbler and that is going to help me cut a super straight edge with my craft knife and make sure that I don't have any sort of weird jaggedy edges with this vinyl. So once I've gotten that all pulled and tautly around the side I'm just going to take my craft knife and literally just go right along the edges super quick super easy 
cut all of that excess vinyl off of the edges so I have a nice clean and smooth rounded surface without any of those weird bumpy vinyl edges and then I'm ready to add my last vinyl decal here my last vinyl lining here and then get into my final coats so before I can get into my final coats here I am going to add a little strip of some washi tape here to be able to apply to that middle section but before I do so I am going to apply just a little bit of painters tape as well to around this clip because we're going to be applying epoxy to the front half and obviously we don't want any of the epoxy to get on the metal clip because then you wouldn't be able to clip paper to it. So instead of trying to be super careful around this, I just figured I would tape it off. So just taping that very edge of the, the metal clip there along the top, that way I can be able to freely move around this section no problem with my gloved hand. So now I'm going to apply that final line of washi tape to the center here. I decided to go with this orange um, metallic that I had in a washi tape. I believe I got this in a pack from Hobby Lobby. I'll link it down in the description box. But I'm just going to apply that washi tape right above the vinyl line there in a nice straight seam there just to kind of cover up that edge there. Cut that with scissors and then of course just use my craft knife to clean up the edges there so that I don't have anything that goes directly over that edge of the clipboard. So after I'm done with that, since I am using a holographic vinyl and washi tape which tends to repel epoxy, I'm going to go in with a little bit of some polycrylic. So this is Minwax polycrylic. It's what I love to use to seal in any of my decals or seal in glitter when I want to make sure that I don't have any of my glitter migrate. So I'm just going to do a really thin coat of this just kind of a couple drops on my gloved hand and just spread that along those two sections the washi tape and the vinyl decal to make sure that I don't have any lifting during the epoxying process so finally we are ready to do our final coat of epoxy. So I have about 60 mLs in this cup of my fast setting epoxy and I have just dumped in a little bit of ice cream dream. Not enough to cover the top of the epoxy but just a little bit to give a little bit of a glittery shimmer to the epoxy before I pour it onto my uh, surface here. So I'm going to give that a good thorough mix before I dump this epoxy onto my clipboard here. So again, the backside only took me about 50 mLs and that's only about what I'll be able to get on this clipboard on the front half. So I had a little bit of excess, which I just used in a mold. And so I'm just gonna take my gloved hand as well as <laughs> my mixing stick here to just help me get all the epoxy moving and from the middle of the cup here in the middle of the tumbler oh my goodness the middle of the clipboard what am I even working on today what is going on I'm just going to use that to help me to get everything from edge to edge so the one thing I did not do which was my fault I was kind of rushing through this if you will is I forgot to tape off the uh, I forgot to tape off the edge of the clipboard so I definitely would go in and tape off because you want to make sure again that you don't get any of your epoxy from the top of the the clipboard onto the back half and create those drips along the edges. I just made sure that I was super careful along my edges and that I was super thorough in making sure that I went around with my gloved hand and just kind of cleaned up the edges to make sure I wasn't getting any drips over the edge if that makes sense. So just similarly to what I did over the taped area when I did the backside, I did that same thing with my gloved hand before I set this to cure. So I'm going to smooth that all out and once that is smooth, I am going to remove my gloves, torch this, and then let it sit to cure. So it took a few hours to cure, and then in about 30 minutes after it was starting to harden, I just removed the blue painter's tape to make sure that it was good to go. So after four to six hours, this is the final look. So this was a really quick, simple, uh, quick craft. You can certainly do a lot of these if you wanna get them out as gifts, maybe for back to school. Lots of different ideas, or maybe just one for yourself. But I hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!